Hey there everyone, welcome to the second installment of my vlog, which I'm now calling Sven Talks. Thanks to Ajit for suggesting it to me, and I'll be using it for quite a while. So today I want to talk a little bit about my experience here in Laramie, particularly relating to the dorms. You know, if there's one thing I'm absolutely not going to miss, it's living in the dorms. See, I need to give you a little introduction. When I get home from university after a hard day of studying and writing essays and participating in class, I don't really want to think about university, you know? I don't want to think about my schoolwork. I want to think about my personal stuff, you know, guitar playing, learning languages, playing video games, watching cartoons and movies, talking with my friends. That's stuff that I want to think about when I get home. Now, here you're always in the university setting. You know, you're always around students. Most of all, there is always a roommate. I have to say right from the bat that my roommate is a really great guy. We've had a, we've had some awesome conversations. He's a totally real, he's he's a totally cool dude. You know, he's always telling me that he doesn't want to inconvenience me in any way, and he's very considerate of my my personal sense of privacy. You know, to me, my room is a haven. It's a place where I get away from the pressures of daily life, and I do it a lot. I'll admit it, but still, it's who I am. You know. When I go to my room, I don't like to be bothered, you know? When I go to my room, I want to be with me and maybe the friends who are online. To me, my room is where I can listen to music. It's where I can watch movies. It's where I can play video games as loudly as I want. On the other hand, it's also a place for me to be quiet. Here, you're always with someone, you know? You can't really play your own music very loudly. Now, I use headphones for that anyway, but and most of the time so does my roommate. On the other hand, you can't really tell each other to be quiet all the time because you're still, you know, it's, 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 it's his room as much as it is mine. You know, we have to share it, we have to do it together, and, you know, I'm really glad that we have a good understanding because I know a lot of people that aren't happy with the roommates that they have, and um, I have really, I have little to complain about. What I don't like is the general idea of having a roommate. When I come to my room, I want there to be no one. I don't mind people, you know, knocking on my door and asking me for stuff. That's perfectly natural. But after they're done with that, you know, I can close the door again and it's my castle again, you know. It's my it's my personal space where I can be alone with my thoughts and I don't really have to worry about anyone else. Here I always have to take someone else's feelings, someone else's sense of privacy into consideration. And that to me is just something I don't think I can ever really get used to. I've never really felt any homesickness since I came here, mostly because I knew from the start that it was going to be temporary, only for a couple of months. However, I miss my room. I miss my privacy. I miss being able to do what I want, whenever I want it, and most of all, I miss being alone. I like people. I love hanging out with people. I love talking to people. But after I'm done with that, when I come back to my room, you know, I just want to, I just want to be by myself. So that's one thing that I'm not going to miss, you know. It's been a great experience. And it's, it's, I have to say, though, there's an upside to this, and it's that it taught me a lot about myself. And, you know, sometimes at home I'm a little bit cold occasionally or distant when my mom comes into my room to ask me something. And I think that's going to change in the future because I've shared this one room with another person for so long that I can really, I've learned to appreciate those moments when you really can be alone. And really, I'm not that bothered anymore by people walking in randomly. And that's something I'm, you know, I've learned something about myself from this experience, is that I can be patient with people if I have to be. And it's also that I appreciate being alone, but I can get used to people being around me. You know, one thing that it's taught me is that back home, the few times that my mother does knock on my door and ask me something, it's really not that bad. And I think in the future, whenever she not, does knock on my door and ask me something or ask me to come up, I'm not going to be bothered because I know that after that, I have the room to myself again, you know? In fact, if I think back now, all the times that I get a little bit antsy whenever someone wants something from me, I, I knew nothing. I didn't know anything, you know. I, I felt like people were invading my privacy when they texted me, when they called me, or when they knocked on my door. That was nothing. Here, I'm always 
giving away my privacy. I didn't know what I had back home. That's something I learned. I, I have learned to appreciate what I have at home, appreciate my room, and the fact that I really, really have a great place to live. It is a haven where I can retreat. It's just that people occasionally knock on my door. It's not bad. Here, they come barging in whenever they want. It's their room as much as mine. I know that I'm the same kind of intruder. And my roommate's actually said the same thing. Starting next semester, he's going to be here after I leave. Starting next semester, he wants to have a place of his own. And I don't blame him. Because I'm not an easy roommate, you know. I'm, I'm not an easy person to live with. People who know me, they can attest to that. Please don't. So yeah, um, I just wanted to share with you this little rant about sharing a room in Laramie. I mean, the whole experience has been great. But, you know, if there was ever any hint, any trace of homesickness, it would be this little issue. It would be having to share a room with someone else 24-7. That's really the only thing that I really miss. Because I know that my stay here... I've known from the start that my stay here was temporary. So I could live with the fact that I wouldn't see my friends for four months, that I wouldn't have my room for four months, but I did not know that I would miss my privacy, my stuff, my castle, my kingdom. I noticed that after the first week. And, you know, I only have three weeks left here, and I'm going to be really glad to have my room again. This experience would have been an absolute 100%, 10 out of 10, triple A plus, if I'd had my room here in Laramie. Then it would have been awesome. Then it would have been absolutely perfect. Now it's wonderful. But this tiny thing, you know, it's the privacy. Gotta love the privacy. Fun fact, a lot of people move out after the first semester here. You know, they try to find a place of their own. If they can't do that, they move into a single room. And let me tell you, it's worth it. If, if I was going to stay here for another semester, I would look for a single room. So, this has been the second episode of uh, my little vlog, Sven Talks, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.